Hey everyone, welcome to my channel techbeast.org. So today we are going to see something exciting. We are going to talk about an interesting open source project called PageKite. So we are going to make localhost part of the web. Okay, so you may be a developer or you may be an IoT enthusiast working with some Raspberry Pis and cool sensors and building some web-based applications to monitor your temperature or whatever. Everything you are developing in your localhost environment from today, you can make it a part of the web. Okay, using this PageKite service. So let's get into the topic. So this is the traditional way to make localhost part of the web. Okay, so it's it's a complex way of doing uh, things to to make your localhost part of the web and access it from the access from the internet. So so you can see the router here. So the router will always have an external IP address and an internal IP address. So the external IP is always assigned by your ISP. So you can subscribe your internet service with any ISPs. Okay, so they will come and install the router in your home and it will always have a public IP address. So make sure th and just note this public IP address is not a static IP because static IP is always uh, expensive. Okay, so this public IP will keep changing. Okay, frequently it depends on your ASP's configurations. Okay, so now um, accessing this uh, local host for example if you have a wi-fi in your home your smart home devices your laptop your mobile everything will be connected to your wi-fi right so it will uh, get an ip range of 192.168.1.10 okay all these uh, private ips your router will assign uh, to your smart home devices via a dhcp so now okay how this 192.168 i can able to access from the internet okay so now um, that's where it comes the port forwarding the concept of port forwarding so uh, uh, for example each router if you log in and see they have a lot of options inside okay so I, i'm not showing it here in this video because every brand every router has its uh, own way of uh, uh, gui or adding things let's just see the concept you can explore it okay so you just need to add this uh, port, port for example if i want to access my raspberry pi running in port 3000 means i want to log into my router and i will add a rule okay of uh, 3000 to forward it to my uh, raspberry pi okay just add this port so whenever i search 103.45.6.89 in my browser from my browser the http request will straight away come to the internet to your home router and my home router will forward it so sorry make sure that you put the port number 3000 so 103.456.89 colon 3000 so this will straight away hit my router and my router i have configured uh, to forward the 3000 to my raspberry pi okay so in this way you can access your local host from the web okay but this is a complex process for one device it's okay we can we can do all these kind of stuffs but make sure there are a lot of networks okay a lot of routers a lot of networks connected devices for how many routers we can log in and we can do port forwarding it's a complex process right and of course here you are directly accessing your router from the internet and there's no middleman okay so it's uh, there comes a bit of security uh, risk also so if you're connecting a camera inside so these are all those are all high um, highly uh, risky to today so how we can uh, settle this how we are going to solve this problem so there comes the page guide okay so page guide is uh, basically it, uh, it will run a reverse proxy server you're going to run a reverse proxy server in cloud so you can run your own uh, reverse proxy server in AWS or GCP or Azure or you can make use of page guides existing services okay so since it's open source that's uh, that's what they are making uh, that's what they are making money from okay so it doesn't matter so which solution you are so it's always good to learn and it's always good to explore new technologies so why page guide is so cool it's completely open source as i said it's 100 percent open source it's 100 percent free you can take the source code if you're a developer you can explore the source code and what they have did okay so it's easy to set up okay it's basically a uh, page guide uh, require python 2.7 okay so so whatever your web server you're running it just expects python 2.7 to be installed on the web server so now python is you can install it anywhere in your laptop or raspberry pi or even in your small small embedded devices okay so as long as you have python inside you are good to go you are good to run page guide service it's easy to use so it's very easy to use you're going to execute one python uh, page guide dot py the python file and it will help you with the sign up process if you want you can sign up and share your email if you like privacy or if you're much concerned about privacy no need to share you can set up your own and run your service that's all okay it's completely secured okay the reverse proxy server running in aws and your clients for example your local host the traffic between this is completely secured so 
it's encrypted too okay so no need to worry about running out of ips so today in this um, uh, iot era so billions of devices are connected to internet and we are running out of public ip addresses okay so page guide this will uh, will always um, help you so it also address this issue okay so we are going to play with domain names okay so your <clears throat> your uh, web server running in uh, your reverse proxy server running in aws will have a, only one public ip address and that's it you can tunnel all your traffics uh, through that server to your corresponding uh, localhost machines okay so it's very simple to play with so it also supports custom domain names of your choice if you're willing to run your own uh, cloud service or reverse proxy in cloud you can use your own domain names so here uh, techbeast.org okay so since we are the owner of the techbeast.org domains uh, is we just use this for an example if you are the owner of the domain you can make use of it and you can reap the benefits okay so this is the page guide architecture okay so how this page guide is working now okay so for example i have a client so the client can be a mobile or laptop and you have a browser inside you are just requesting hello.techbeast.org so this request will straight away hit your aws reverse proxy server okay so as a domain owner as i said you need to add an a record so you just need to add an a record um, in your uh, dns list and this a record will point to your page guide uh server okay so now uh, whenever you search this hello.techpiece.org uh, iot.techpiece.org pi.techpiece.org it can be anything so in simple you can you can add a wildcard uh, uh, dns and a record to pointing to this aws straight away it will hit the aws and the aws will directly route the traffic i mean the tunneling solution okay it's completely route the traffic to your local host assuming that you are running the page guide backend in your local host machine okay so for example let's take raspberry pi it's always interesting to use raspberry pi so i'm running a python.py uh, uh, page guide uh, process inside this raspberry pi pointing the front end to my aws okay so this will create a secure tunneling okay so the traffic between this page guide and your local host will be encrypted and you can access it from anywhere in the world okay so that's how simple it is okay so now uh, it's always um uh, best thing to learn is always get your hands dirty okay so now uh, let me show you how you can set up your own uh, front end reverse proxy server in aws i'm going to run a simple uh, web server in raspberry pi and how we are going to access it over the internet let's go okay so now you can see the um, ac2 instance which i have logged in okay i've just created an ac2 instance an ubuntu machine so in order to run my aws um, reverse proxy server okay as we discussed so you can see uh, this is the uh, ec2 instance which i created and i got an ip address of public ip of 174.129.104.196 okay so now what we are going to do is um, you can actually explore so page guide.net so just log into this uh, uh, website pageguide.net so this is the uh, web page of the page guide okay so you can explore so what and all they are doing all the source codes all the wiki pages everything is available i'm just going to follow the steps okay given in the wiki page okay it's, it's not a big uh, rocket science so we are just going to uh, execute some commands like sudo uh, dash get update so this will update my ac2 instance to all the uh, latest packages so now what we are going uh, to do basically is i'm going to set up my own uh, front end server okay so so you can see here uh, for example okay so so inside the wiki page if you um, go to this configure your linux system for use with page guide they have a lot of options so configuring your uh, back end how to use the back end then configure how to use ssh uh, how to configure the ssh for your back end then configuring page guide as a public facing front end so so this is what we are doing now so we are not going to use page guide service we are going to run our own page guide uh, like service in aws using page guys open source code okay so so now i'm just following the steps okay so you can see here so this assumes that you have downloaded and installed the packages as per debian package so in this ubuntu mission we are going to uh, use this debian package i'm just following the steps to set up this okay so uh, let me just uh, copy paste this and i have installed this directory manager then we need to add our repository according to the instructions okay so it's done completely then add the page guide packaging key okay so we need to add this key here so let me add the key okay it's done then finally as a wrap up we need to update it again with all the new uh, update the packages okay so done so let me clear it uh, again just for the 
so better visualization so now finally we are going to install sudo apt-get install page guide service okay so this will install the page guide service in my ubuntu machine so we are going to run as a, a front end here after the installation okay so let it let it um, until it finishes let me uh, explain it so once you finish this installation setup as i told we need to add an a record okay so add an a record to your domain name so i am using aws so all these techbeast.org i just hosted in aws and here you can see i have created an a record with wildcard name so star dot uh, so meaning it can be anything hello dot techbeast.org iot.techbeast.org it can be anything so i just pointed at the value is 174.129 which is the ip address of my ec2 machine okay so basically i uh, just added the record that's it that's all you want to do so whatever the uh, domain name you are searching it will hit this 172.129 uh, ec2 instance and the service will uh tunnel the traffic accordingly to the corresponding local host okay so now uh, let's take a look on how to set up this page guide front end so okay so we just uh, install this uh, page guide so far we don't uh, face any installation issue okay so so no issue so let's uh, proceed as, the, as per the instruction so now remove the line slash etc 10.rc okay so what i'm gonna do is uh, sudo nano that rc so you will see all these kind of information so this is a kite name kite secret so this one basically we use uh, when we are configuring page guide as a back end so now we are configuring as a front end right so we are going to deploy this in aws so let's just remove this we don't need this info then uh, we are going to edit this slash etc page guide dot d 20 front end details so we are going to configure the front end details here okay so what we are going to do basically is so we need to add the line is front end okay so just copy it paste it okay so we are going to uh, allow port 80 and port 443 so this uh, port 80 is for http and 443 is for https so so we just basically allow this two okay then uh, domain is uh, my domain here is star dot uh, techbeast.org okay so techbeast.org okay so basically the password can be anything it can be any password but you need to make sure the front end and the back end using the same password let me give some complex string so i can copy this uh, string so it's it's some uh, randomly generated string so in order to make the password a bit effective okay so let me just uh, add it mm, okay Control x let me save this okay okay so now uh, okay so that's all our front end is ready so if you want to uh, these are all some optionals if you want to encrypt the traffic you can follow the steps if you want to uh, share your web servers you can you can follow these steps so but in our case ultimately we are just going to uh, run our own page guide service and access the local host through internet okay so now it's time to so the moment you finish your installation just go and restart your page guide.d service init.d slash page guide restart okay so this will restart the page guide service and it should work fine now okay so now let's go to i have logged into my raspberry pi here so you can see the raspberry pi here okay. just ssh into your raspberry pi and i'm just going to install a page guide backend okay in my local host and i'm going to run the page guide backend in order to expose my uh, raspberry pi to the internet okay so now what we need to do is just go to the page guide.net click download okay so it will take you to the um, uh, download option page so just download page guide.py so just you need to copy the entire uh, text inside and what you need to do is just create a page guide.py file okay so don't nano page guide.py in your raspberry pi just paste it that's all you need to do so it will uh, take a while so let me just save it okay so now we have just uh, uh, saved this page gate.py so now we need to uh, create a configuration file so in order to put all your uh, front end and back end uh, details so just create a file sudo nano dot page guide dot rc okay so this is the configuration file we are going to create and we need to put all your uh, front and back end details here so uh, i have created a, a sample uh, configuration file here i'm just going to copy it so just paste it here 
so basically what is inside is uh, we are going to have a kite name so in my case it's hello.techbeast.org and the kite secret is uh, something which we configured in the front end in your aws and the front end basically it can be anything so here i'm using api.techbeast.org port 80 so because our front end supports only 80 and 443 so i'm using port 80 here as my front end i'm going to access it via http so now the service on okay so the kite name localhost 8080 so instead of 8080 i'm just going to give 3000 so i'm going to expose my uh, local host uh, raspberry pi which is running in port 3000 to internet okay so that's all you need to do then save file slash home slash by dot it's just the path everything is normal so just save it that's all so now all we need to do is uh, maybe uh, before that let me just uh, 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 run the localhost 3000 uh, web server so basically what i'm going to do is uh, uh, change directly it's a simple led program uh, created by uh, techpiece.org in my previous videos you can watch so how to toggle an led so i'm just going to run this uh, program node index.js so this will uh, you can see the simple led control server is running on port 3000 so now if i go to my browser and when i key in 192.168.77 colon 3000 this will show you the sorry it's it's 89 sorry my raspberry pi is running in 89 okay so it will show you uh, the local host server running uh, the toggle and simple led uh, web server okay so now uh, you can see it here so now what we need to do is we need to run the page guide right so we need to expose this uh, uh, local host server in order to access over the internet so i don't want to stop the server let me just open another terminal put a terminal in order to log into my raspberry pi log into raspberry pi raspberry okay so now all we need to do is just execute the page guide dot py python file so python page guide dot py okay oh sorry so the page guide dot rc we need to give uh, write permission so all what you need to do is uh, uh, let me just give the write permission chmod triple seven slash home slash by slash dot page guide dot rc okay so now uh cgh mod uh, operation so i need to use sudo so i'm just uh, giving a read and write permission for the page guide dot rc file so that the uh, page guide uh, python file can read the configuration inside the file so now let's just execute python page guide dot py so now you can see the commands here so starting up the front end so 172.129.104 so this is our aws ip address okay so it's connected successfully the local host is connected to the relay and you can see flying local host 3000 at http hello techpiece.org okay so let me copy and paste the url here so http hello .techbeast okay so now i can able to access my web server running in raspberry pi within my home via internet okay so i can access my raspberry anytime anywhere from the internet okay so that's the uh, the main use case okay so of using page guide uh, in your projects okay so it's so cool so simple so just easy to set up and it's completely secure and privacy so now i'm using my own aws instance to run the page guide front end i'm using my own uh, raspberry pi which is in my inside my home okay in order to expose it to internet securely so this same concept you can apply for a lot of use cases for example your smart home gateway if you are running inside your home you can just use page guide service and expose it to internet okay so then you can create a simple website you can share with your friends so there are a lot and a lot of use cases and you can work on it so thanks for watching guys uh, if you like my channel and my videos please subscribe to it and show your support so let's make technology easy pc for everyone and a lot more uh, fun projects are on the way so we are going to talk a lot about technologies and open source software so stay tuned uh, stay safe and